And honestly, I don't know if men have caught on to this yet, but like our standards have risen and they're going to keep rising. So those old tricks, those old games you used to run, it's not going to work anymore. The only thing that's going to work is that you get therapy, you grow, you fix yourself because we don't give a f anymore, okay? We're out here making money, running circles around you clowns, and it's just not going to happen. So until you decide to look in the mirror and check yourself okay we don't want anything to do with it because the dick isn't that great y'all are not even emotionally intelligent you can't pay a f bill what can you do the realm of social media and encountering single mothers on dating sites can indeed be a nuanced experience it's common to come across profiles of women who portray themselves as independent and stylish often omitting their desire for a partner who can support them and their children long-term. These women may present enticing profiles with attractive photos, luring in eager suitors. However, some men find themselves in a predicament when these women transition from casual dating to pushing for serious commitments and marriage, often with an emphasis on financial stability. To navigate this landscape effectively, honesty and upfront communication are paramount. Individuals need to express their feelings and reservations regarding dating someone who is a parent. Open dialogue about expectations, concerns, and intentions can prevent misunderstandings and wasted time for both parties involved. No other generation in history has ever had to swipe through dating apps and look at pictures of men on the internet that are from five years ago and then meet them out at stupid restaurants and pretend to like the stupid drinks they order just for them to three days later say that this is not gonna work out. Then why did we go on the date, Jason? Why? I'm sick of seeing everybody my age get engaged and tell me, just get back out there. Where? We're in hell. We're at Starbucks. And you're supposed to be cooking for me. You're supposed to be a woman. I don't even know you that, that well doing yet. Oh, right. We're doing gender roles, right? You just said I'm supposed to be a man. I'm supposed to, you know, wine and dine you, take you out to somewhere nice. That's a gender role. As a date, yeah. Well, okay, cool. And you could have came over to my house and cooked for me as a date. But we didn't do that, did we? No, why would I be in your house if I just met you? Uh, well, why I would I spend $200 plus on you if I just met you? Because you're trying to win me, like... Oh, okay. You're, you're trying prize. to court me. Yes, you're I'm the prize. Where do you do work you... again? Where do you work? What does that matter? Grocery store, right? What does that matter? Right. So, I make more money than you, right? Okay. Well, obviously... I have to pick you you're up, You're cheap right? with it. I have to pick you up, right? You live in an apartment, right? Okay. I live in a house. I have a car. I have a good job. And... And I have to win you, you... over. You're the prize, though, right? And you take girls on dates to Starbucks? And you aren't appreciative of, of going to Starbucks. What am I? I'm 30 and I'm single. And something that I quickly had to learn while dating at my 30s is that 30 or plus year old men would much rather date women that are on their early 20s than women that are 30 or plus years old. And I think the reason for that is because when you turn 30, you hit this wall where you don't take the same shit that you used to take while you were in your 20s. For example, when I was at my 20s, a guy would say, yeah, you know, like, I just need time. I cannot be in a serious relationship with you right now. And I would go for it and I would entertain this man. If a man comes today and says, hey, I'm not ready for a serious relationship. It's like, babe, you're 30. The hairline is going back. Like, what else do you need time for? So I quickly had to realize that I'm probably going to be spending a lot of time single and I have to be okay with it because I cannot go back to my 20s. I also don't want to. I love being 30 and the maturity and consciousness that I have now. Modern dating norms have given rise to hookup culture and transactional relationships, making it challenging for average men to meet women's often unrealistic expectations, exacerbated by social media. Faced with this dilemma, men typically have three options. Opt out entirely, seek partners overseas, or commit to continuous self-improvement to attain high status status. Many men feel disillusioned by the current dating landscape, where casual encounters often overshadow genuine connections. Women's expectations, fueled by social media's portrayal of idealized lifestyles, can seem unattainable to the average individual. 
In response, some men choose to disengage from the dating scene altogether, feeling overwhelmed or disheartened by the perceived obstacles. Alternatively, some men explore international dating opportunities, seeking partners in cultures where expectations may differ from those in their home country. This approach offers a fresh perspective and the possibility of finding compatibility outside familiar social norms. However, for those who opt to remain in the dating pool, continuous self-improvement becomes a necessity. By focusing on personal growth, developing confidence, and enhancing social skills, men can position themselves as high-value individuals capable of meeting and exceeding modern dating expectations. This proactive approach empowers men to navigate the complexities of modern romance with resilience and adaptability. Look, I have a kid. I used to be like that until I had my kid. Now that I have my kid, like I might be this, oh, I'm a boss, bitch, da, da, da. but deep down in my heart, I would do absolutely anything to be at home and be like always with my child. Dang, but unfortunately, and I have can't. a man protect you. Stop acting like stop, stop leaving out the man part. Yeah. Because for you to be home with your child, that means you got a man holding exactly. you down, yeah. and protecting I, and you. I'm, and that's what I'm saying. Like he's right, and that shit's hard. Like, but unfortunately, since I'm by myself, I gotta hustle, you know. Yeah. But I would do anything to have a man. Like that's what that's we what say. That's exactly. Yo, God, yo, God, 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 you. God bless you. God bless you for telling the fucking truth. God bless you for telling the truth. Okay, this one's going to be a little bit of a downer. Sorry. But people in relationships need to stop telling single people to enjoy this time while they're single. Ha date yourself. I've been dating myself now for six years. Almost seven I have fun by myself. I know it makes me happy. I like to go get my nails done. I like to go shopping. I like to go hiking by myself. Like, I like to do crap by myself. <laughs> but, like, at the end of the day, I would love more than anything to come home to somebody and just lay in the bed with them and watch a show. <laughs> have a partner. Have somebody I could depend on. Someone who's not going to cheat on me. So please stop telling us. For a man who is genuinely interested in pursuing a relationship with a woman who is over 30, it's crucial to convey sincerity and understanding regarding their social responsibilities. Acknowledging and accepting the presence of old age in the equation demonstrates maturity and readiness for a committed relationship. However, it's equally vital for individuals to discern between genuine connection and potential ulterior motives, such as seeking a financial partner. Now this here had me. This lady here crying now cause she 30 and unmarried. See the caption, oh lord. I've been listening to this song, but this one it hit me so hard. Now here, read the rest. 30, no husband, no kids, no family yet. Look, relax sis. It's people crying harder than this to get out of a marriage. I'm not judging, but I'ma be real, bro. Crying on camera, posting it, and filter. Let me speak to you. Tears for cleansing your soul, not for social media. Take things and let it happen, sis. See, marriages, not the gateway to happiness. Don't let the media fool you. Listen, cutie, we live in a real life, not a Disney movie. This woman's honesty and courage in admitting her need for a partner and commitment to homemaking are commendable. The admiration she receives from men serves as evidence of their love and appreciation for her sincerity. That's all for today on Alpha Male. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on notifications. You can support the channel by becoming a member or sending a super chat. Share your thoughts in the comments. See you tomorrow.